All right, Shalom. First, I'd like to start by saying all praise to you by Shemar Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well. And uh, salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth of sincerity. Now, uh, this video basically is on uh, Homeland Security because uh, I keep seeing them in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I got a couple like right next to me. I'm going to put them uh, on screen in a minute. But uh, I'm just read through Homeland Security real quick. This is uh, Homeland Security. It's an American umbrella term for the national effort to ensure a homeland that is safe, secure, and resilient against terrorism and other hazards where American interests, aspirations, and ways of life can thrive to the national effort to prevent terrorist attacks within the United States, reduce the vulnerability, of the U.S. to terrorism and minimize the damage from attacks that do occur, right? So Homeland Security protects against, uh, you know, terrorists and uh, uh, anything that would threaten uh, the American way of life. But, yeah, remember, they uh, qualified um, or classified America as, uh, 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 or classified the people of America as homeland terrorists. So in actuality, they out here protecting you know, we're not protecting out here watching the people, you know, rounding up the people that's uh, against the American way of life, which, you know, according to Project Megiddo, it's extreme, all types of extremist groups uh, or, or Israelite groups, no matter which one you're up under, you know, uh, because they're re really trying to stop the truth and uh, trying to bring in this uh, new world order as far as the elites go. And they're using these uh, police forces as pawns. But yeah, when you know people got it misconstrued, when you think of uh terrorists, you think of somebody from the Middle East or some Arab, um, yeah, yeah, some Arab or some shit. But really, the terrorists is the people. The reason why they be having these trucks out here is because they be uh, patrolling and watching the people and doing all their little trainings and exercises, getting ready for martial law uh, and stuff of that nature, or some type of catastrophe that's uh, man-made, man. So I'm going to go ahead and show you these two vehicles before they end up pulling up and then we'll get to the document. Shalom. Yeah, we got the uh, Homeland Police Security Federal Protective Services, Homeland Security. And they look Tahoe's. Only here to uh, protect and serve the interests of the elites. They gonna help ultimately bring in this new world order. Oh, we got some cars coming out so I can back up. Oh, yeah. US government plates. We got their little uh, snitch line. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, these motherfuckers don't even know these people don't even know that they actually the terrorists. You know, and yeah, remember to protect and serve the government. The government, in actuality, is a uh, uh, governance. They that's how they control the world through governance. They take the best of the best of intellectuals and they govern this society. You know, and that's uh, you know that involves um, um, using they think tanks and everything to uh, you know incorporate. Uh, whatever laws, legislations, and how to keep in control of people and bring them up into this new world order fashion. But they doing this to the whole world, man. So it's not only Homeland Security that's going to be involved in this. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Oops, locked in. Oh, well, yeah, no, nah, it's cool. Well, that's it. Shalom. All right, this is uh, back to Homeland Security. It says, Homeland Security is not constrained to terrorist incidents. Terrorism is one of many threats that endanger society within the U.S. and all hazards approach exists regarding Homeland Security and endeavors. It says, in this sense, Homeland Security encompasses both natural disasters and man-made events, all right? It says, thus, the domain of Homeland Security may accommodate a plethora of situations and scenarios ranging from natural disasters 
e.g. Hurricane Katrina to acts of terrorism, e.g. Boston Marathon. It says, uh, Homeland Security is not constrained to terrorist incidents. Terrorism is one of many threats that indeed endanger society within the U.S. and all hazards approach exist. Yeah, and uh, sorry, it says, uh, and all hazards approach exist regarding Homeland Security and endeavors. In this sense, Homeland Security encompasses both natural disasters and man-made events. Thus, the domain of Homeland Security must accommodate a plethora of situations and scenarios, ranging from natural disasters, e.g. Hurricane Katrina, and acts of terrorism, e.g. Boston Marathon bombing. Right, so, you know, uh, with this, as in addition to uh, what they just mentioned, a lot of these disasters and stuff that they got, see, it's under the man-made category. A lot of this is all man-made, man. Especially when it can't comes to uh, Boston uh, Marathon bombing, that was man-made. Hurricane Katrina, that was a uh, man-made, right? Cause uh, he saw uh, uh, blew them levees on uh, during Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Katrina. It says uh, the term came about following enactment of the Homeland Security Act of 2002 and reorganizing organization of many U.S. government civil agencies effective March 2003 to form the United States Department of Homeland Security after the September 11 attacks. And, may, and that, was, um, um, that was a man-made thing also, you know, because the government actually controls really a lot of the, these events that go on. The government is the ones that do it, you know, and then uh, enact laws and legislations like this to, uh, uh, you know, deal with police forces, you know. But the ultimate aim of everything that they enact in and stuff is to bring in this new world order, man. It says, and may be used to refer to the actions of that department. The United States Senate Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs or the United States House of Representatives Committee on Homeland Security. All right, it says Homeland Defense is the military protection of U.S. territory, sovereignty, domestic population, and critical infrastructure against external threats and aggression. So, you know, that's like uh, Northern Command. That's like, that's, uh, it's like, that's uh, for threats outside of the U.S., uh, the Homeland Defense, Homeland Security, you know, Homeland inside threats, any type of threat. It says in the United States, um, the concept of Homeland Security extends and recombines responsibilities of government agencies and entities. It says, according to Homeland Security research, the U.S. federal Homeland Security and Homeland Defense includes 187 federal agencies and departments, including the National Guard of the United States, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, and the United States Coastal Guard, U.S. Customs and Border Protections, U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement, uh, ICE, I want to make sure I catch that. It says the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, the United States Secret Services, right? ICE has a lot to do with them Latins coming in, but not only them Latins now, you got them other nations trying to come in from uh, over there in Syria and uh, so on and so forth. Because there's a lot of them lands over there in the Middle East that's under attack or at war, and a lot of them people trying to migrate from them lands, you know, to, 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 uh, to uh, get, um, to become citizens and stuff. And, you know, they got to keep up with that. So the government got a lot of work on their hands, but even though they didn't already set it up, you know, they're just getting their agencies ready for uh, when uh, re when it really kick off. So they're getting a lot of training done, man. It says, um, include the uh, National Guard of the United States and Federal Emergency Management Agency, the United States Coastal Guard, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, the United States Secret Services, the Transportation Security Administration, the 14 agencies that consist uh, that, that constitute the U.S. intelligence community, 
and Civil Air Patrol. Although many businesses now operate in the area of homeland security, it is overwhelmingly a government function. Right. So, yeah, man, this is this really was only enacted because everything circles around Jacob and Esau, but this was enacted more so to, um, you know, uh, persecute Jake because uh, they don't use homeland security right along with the agencies that's within homeland security to enforce, you know, their laws and their legislations and uh, actually, uh, especially to bring in this new world order, basically. So I'm going to start with this scripture right here. This is um, Isaiah chapter 10. Hold on, let me see. It's locked in. Because I just seen another scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 10. Verse 1, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, right? This was an unrighteous decree. They um uh headed to where terrorists they headed they headed to where they headed already, you know, like on the books before 2011 happened, the terrorist attacks or 2001. Come on, sloppy. They headed to where they already, you know, had put it on the books and established it right after uh the uh terrorist attacks happened. You know, because it was ultimate, their ultimate aim was to bring in a new world order. So it says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, which are their laws, to turn aside the needy from judgment, right? And the needy uh, is us, the Israelites, and to take away the right from the peop from the poor of my people, right? Our right is to know the truth and to be rulers of this world, man. That widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless and we was the fatherless man now now the lord turned back to us that's how we know know the truth and that's how we know that you know what the white man is actually setting up you know because when you was in the world you weren't thinking about the department of homeland security in detail and you know why was they even made and stuff like that all right it says and what will you do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from afar Right, so when that day come, Homeland Security and all them the agencies that's within Homeland Security and outside of Homeland Security, the uh, 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 they call it the defense. What is it? Homeland. I mean, Homeland Defense. All that's gonna be burnt up. It says, and what will you do in the day of visitation when Yahweh shall come back, and in the desolation which shall come from far? Right. To whom will ye flee for help? And where will you leave your glory? Right, America. So, you know, ain't nobody going to be able to save America in that day, man. Yeah, I was shy going to happen to him. When he come back, he's going to start over there in that Middle East, man. And uh, kind of angels join that war. And they're going to be shooting missiles on each other. On each other. Um, and America going to be hit by the missiles. You know? But, um, okay, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Uh, let me see. Is a little bit more because this one, this one, this article right here, this one is straight. I read a little bit more. It was another little point, but then I'm gonna jump to the other article in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna just keep reading a little bit more. It says that uh, the George W. Bush administration consolidated many of these activities under the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. A new cabinet department established as a result of the Homeland Security Act of 2002, which happened after 2001. That's what I was trying to say. However, much of the nation's Homeland Security activity remains outside of DHS. For example, the FBI and CIA are not a part of the, of the department and other executive departments, such as Department of Defense and Department of Health and Human Services, play a significant role in certain aspects of Homeland Security. So they work hand-in-hand. Hand. It says that Homeland Security is coordinated at the White House by the advisor to the President of National Security and the advisor to the President of for Terrorism and Homeland uh, Security. All right, it says the staff of the National Security Council manages policies, integration of national security and Homeland Security. It says Homeland Security is officially defined 
by the National Strategy for Homeland Security as a co concerted national effort to prevent terrorist attacks within the United States, reduce America's vulnerability to terrorism, and minimize the damage and recover from attacks that do occur. It says because the Department of Homeland Security includes the Federal Emergency Management Agency, which is FEMA, it also has responsibility for preparedness, response, and recovery to natural disasters. It says according to the U.S. Office of Management and Budget and Homeland Security Research Corporation, DHS Homeland Security funding constitutes about 20 to 21 percent of the consolidated U.S. Homeland Security. It says Homeland Defense funding, while approximately 40 percent of the DHS budget, funds civil non-security activities such as U.S. Coast Guard search and rescue operations and customs functions. The U.S. Homeland Security is the world's largest homeland counter Counter-terror uh, organization have 40% of the global fiscal year homeland security funding. Okay. It says, according to the, the U.S. Office of Management and Budget, the Homeland Security Research Corp Corporation, DHS, homeland security funding constitutes, uh, oops, socket. It says, the term became prominent in the United States following the September 11 attacks. It had been used only in limited policy circles prior to these attacks. It says the phrase security of the American homeland appears in the 1998 report Catastrophic Terrorism Elements of the National Policy by Ash Carter, John M. Deutsch, and Philip D. Zillikov. Zil 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 it says homeland security is also usually used to connotes the civilian aspects of this effort. Homeland defense refers to its military component, led chiefly by the United States Northern Command. See. It says, uh, which is headquartered in Colorado Springs, uh, Colorado. It says, the scope of Homeland Security includes emergency preparedness and response for, for both terrorism and natural disasters including volunteer medical police, uh, emergency management, and fire personnel. It said the domestic and international intelligence activities largely today within the FBI, critical, inf critical infrastructure and perimeter protection, investigation of people making and distributing child pornography, border control, including both land and maritime, maritime sea, and country borders, right? So that's what this everything they're dealing with, man. Transportation security, including aviation and maritime transportation, bio defense, um, yeah, the detection of radio radioactive and radiological materials, uh, research on next generation security technologies. So if you was ever wondering how they be knowing when radiation, you know, come over here to America and, and threw it up their atmosphere and came from the sea or the air and shit like that, from uh, like uh, I think I think they said something like that up in um, when uh, Japan had this uh, when this nuclear uh, thing happened or um, when they had that tsunami and they came all the way over here to America. Homeland Security deal 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 in that area, or, you know, informing everybody and passing out that information. It says a bio defense refers to measures to restore biosecurity to a group of organisms who are or may be subject to biological threats or infectious diseases. Bio defense is frequently discussed in the context of bio war or bioterrorism, and is generally considered a military or emergency response term, right? A biological agent, also called bioagent, biological threat agent, biological warfare agent, biological weapon or or, or biological weapon or bioweapon is a bacterium, virus, protozoan, parasite, or fungus that can be used per purposefully as a weapon in bioterrorism or biological warfare, right? And you know they got um, 
Netflix, man. Netflix, uh, this uh, one um, series by the name of Intelligence, they don't have it up there no more. I haven't seen it in a long time. But they show you how they be, you know, giving people certain sicknesses, you know, having them uh, get everybody else sick. Or they can just put something in the air, man. It says different viruses, protozoan parasites, and fungus that can be used per purposefully as a weapon in bioterrorism. Right. They can just easily put something up in the air, man. All right, well, that's enough for that one. I'm going to go to this one, because this one, Department of Homeland Security and, um, uh, what is it? Homeland Security, same thing. They just uh, got going a little deep, deeper on this one. I said the United States Department of Homeland Security is a cabinet department of the United States federal government with responsibilities in public security, roughly comparable to the interior or home ministries of other countries. It said its stated mission involved anti-terrorism, border security, immigrations and customs, uh, cyber security, right? So this is who uh, uh, the Latin tribes we having to deal with. And disaster prevention and management, it was created in response to the September 11 attacks. Right, so they did the September 11 attacks on purpose so they could establish the Department of Homeland Security because they already got the moves that they're going to be making in advance already, you know, set up and shit. Everybody else is just catching up, man. And they're only catching up because of the prophets here. It says, um, in fiscal year 2017, it was allocated a net discretionary budget of 40 to 40.6 billion with more than 240,000 employees. DHS is the third largest cabinet department after the Department of Defense and Veterans Affairs. It says Homeland Security policy is coordinated at the White House by the Homeland Security Council. Other agencies with significant Homeland Security responsibilities include the Department of Health and Human Services, uh, Justice, and Energy. Right. Now, uh, a couple years back, they had, uh, and it's all on Alex Jones. He was uh, one of the ones that was big on it also. Uh, the DHS was getting all them um, armor-piercing bullets and, you know, Stuff like that. It was getting them in the billions. They was only getting them because they finna use them on the people. And they finna pass them out to their agencies that's within the body. And, you know, when that time comes, when martial law kick off or certain disasters, bio, because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on during the time uh, that they pass out that chip, man, or up into that chip, there's going to be bio, bio weapons uh, being, you know, set off probably. Or, you know, they're already doing it. The, 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 uh, what you see in the news, measles outbreaks, um, uh, uh, the Black Death is over here uh, in California, uh, you know, stuff of that nature, the H1N1, those are bioweapons that they use against the people, and they doing that shit on purpose. And sometimes it might be a false flag, but when it really kick off, like the scriptures say, thousands shall die at one side, and 10,000 uh, at thy next. Psalms chapter 90, 91, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at verse 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, right, the secret place of the Lord is uh, the chariots, I will say of the Lord, Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in him will I trust, right? So, you know, we're going to be trusting you have our smile shy during that time, man. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, right? The fowler is uh, Esau, his snares, is his traps, and from the noisome pestilence, right? Which is the nuclear missiles. Pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler, right? So we're going to be protected. Why? Because we're going to have the truth in that day. Yeah, all right, is that we have the elect, man. So, you know, <clears> the <throat> only reason why, like I said, we got truth coming out because, you know, the Lord set up his prophets. And we them prophets, man. Just, yeah, all right, is that we have the, the of his elect, man. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth, by day, right? That's nuclear missiles. It says, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, right? That's talking about the uh, bio the bioweapons, man. The diseases that's going to be spread 
a lot of it's going to be spread through uh, uh, man-made creation, man. And a lot of it is being spread through man-made creation right now today as we speak. It says, uh, Nor for the destruction that wasted that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Right, man. So during that time, it's going to be multiple. It's going to be a thousand deaths. It's going to be a thousand to ten thousand deaths happening, man, because it's, you know, stuff like uh, uh, these bioweapons and stuff, man. All right. What did I leave off at? Uh, okay, the functions. Let me see. Yeah, all right, functions. It says, whereas the Department of Defense is charged with military actions abroad, the Department of Homeland Security works in the civilian sphere to protect the United States within, at, and outside its borders. It says, its stated goal is to prepare for prevent and respond to domestic emergencies, particularly terrorism. On March 1st, 2003, DHS absorbed the Immigration and Naturalization Service and assumed its duties. It says in doing so, it divided the enforcement and services functions into two separate and new agencies, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, which is ICE, and Citizens and Immigration Services. It says that the, the investigative divisions and intelligence gathering units of the INS and Customs Service Services were merged, forming Homeland Security Investigation. See, it, it was made of small different departments, which they uh, brought together and, you know, renamed them and shit, man. Okay. It says uh, the investigation division and intelligence gathering units of the INS, INS and Customs Services were merged from Homeland Security Investigations. Additionally, the border enforcement functions of the INS, including the U.S. Border Patrol, the U.S. Customs Services, and the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Services were consolidated into a new agency under DHS, U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The Federal Protective Service falls under the National Protection and Programs Directive. Right, so. All right. Um, it says structure Department of Homeland Security is headed by the Secretary of Homeland Security. With the assistance of the deputy secretary, the department contains and the department contains the components listed uh, below: citizens and immigration services, uh, the ombudsman, domestic nuclear detection office, federal emergency management agency. Everybody uh, uh, familiar with FEMA? Federal law enforcement training centers, management direct direct directorate. Direct, National Protection and Programs Directorate, Office for Civil Rights and Civil Liberties, Office of General Counsel, right, liberties according to who, the white man, Office of Health Affairs, according to you saw, Office of Intelligence and Analysis, Office of Legislative Affairs, Office of Operation Coordination, Office of Partnership and Engagement, all this shit, all this, all this shit gonna be done away with when you have a shaggy back. Office of Policy, Office of Public Affairs, Office of Inspector General, Private Office, Science and Technology Director, Transportation Security Administration, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, U.S. Coastal Guard, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, U.S. Secret Service. Now, uh, it's still a lot of good information in this document, but I'm not going to drag this out for, uh, you know, lack of time. But I'm going to get into a couple more scriptures, man.
Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and you that dwell in them, right? You people, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, right? For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, right? The devil is this white man. Because he knew it, they have for this short time, right? So when all this chaos and start kick off, they're gonna be using the Department of Homeland Security uh, to come in with its different agencies to uh, round these people up and take them to the concentration camps because you know it's in the document. You just gotta keep reading it, right? Right. Esau know that he got a short time. That's why he. Uh, that's why he uh, uh speeding everything up. That's why they did that, the terrorist attacks, and then uh, that brought in the uh, Department of Homeland Security, man. It's, you know it's time short, so you're pushing this agenda faster and faster, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. It says, alas, for that, that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right, the elect going to be saved out of the time of Jacob's trouble. Not everybody, because the time of Jacob's trouble consists of that RFID chip being pushed out. But who they, who they, who they going to use to uh, help enforce this uh, RFID chip being uh, pushed out, man? You know, they're going to be using a uh, different uh, police forces, man. To make sure they use and to make sure that they uh, contain the people. This is Second Ezra. Chapter 16, verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. Right, and that's that RFID chip. But at the beginning it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude. That multitude uh, is their troops, man. Uh, FEMA is a part of uh, uh, DHS. So, you know, they're going to be involved in this too, man. It says, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be head in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Right? So those who take the tip are going to be fucked up anyway. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, right? So that's the elect, because the elect going to be tried in that day also, man. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, right? They're going to be using these different agencies within uh, DHS. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold and the fire. And it's going to be known because the prophets is the ones that's putting up the information, bringing out the truth, you know, this is how we live uh, and, you know, breathe and, you know, speak on. You know, and when it happens, the people are going to be like, damn, wait, GMS. And they're going to be naming them brothers in particular. And then Yahweh Shah going to be flashing it in their head. These little conversations, his name and everything, man. And by that time, it's going to be late for a lot of people, man. But that's how they're going to know who's the chosen because they're going to see it happen right in front of them. And they're going to remember the people that told them. Okay, it says, um... Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, Yahweh Shai, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Right? So we know the trouble is at hand. We know what's coming. We know what's going on. And the more we sit and study, the more we have insight on it. You know? But the Lord said, when it happens, he's going to be the one to deliver us. So, you know, it's imperative that, you know, we keep in spirit with this, man. You know, even myself, starting with myself, man. You know, Esau will be having these obstacles in your way sometimes, but you got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting, you know, because in the end, it's going to be uh, really a few of the elect. But, you know, right now, 
uh, a lot of excuses we can get rid of, you know, especially, you know, me also, you know. But, yeah, um, that's it for the lesson, man. I don't want to, you know, bring out too much right now. But, you know, uh, it's it, it, this little bit of information that, I, that did come out, you know, going to build some brothers up, man, you know, because and, and, I'd be building me up, the information that brothers put out. But uh, all praise, y'all bless my shy. Double honors to those in the past that rule well. And salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth with sincerity. Shalom.